start, let's start with what's in the diet that's bad. Um, clearly, any type of sugar is bad. Uh, raw sugar, uh, fructose, sucrose, bad. Uh, carbohydrates, I would try to not eat too much of unprocessed carbohydrates. Keeping your blood sugar levels at a steady level, not too high, is clearly important. No, nobody would doubt that. The other thing you, you should try not to do is to gain too much excess uh, body fat. It's been shown that obesity lowers the amount of NAD and lowers, lowers your sirtuin defenses. Sirtuins and they control how fast we age. And what we've discovered is that there are molecules in foods that we eat that activate these defenses in our body uh, that these genes control. Um, What's fascinating just in the last few years is that the same molecules that my lab and others have discovered control these longevity defensive genetic pathways are also the same kinds of molecules and food types that people studying long-lived communities, uh, these blue zones, as Dan Butner would tell you. Um, and so we're intersecting and coming to the same conclusion. <clears throat> so, for example, the sirtuin one gene makes an enzyme that protects the body. It's activated chemically, physically, by a couple of really interesting molecules. One is resveratrol, which a lot of people know me for that discovery. That's in the red wine molecule. Um, but more recently, another lab discovered that uh, oleic acid, which is produced when we, we're hungry and our fat breaks down, but also we can get oleic acid from uh, olive oil, avocados, uh, nuts. And it may be that the, the benefits we get from those foods are largely because those foods are turning on our defense pathways against aging. Also, the, the three meals a day I've thrown out the window. Um, I try to skip breakfast or have a very small breakfast. Um, I typically have a, a few spoonfuls at most of some homemade yogurt. Uh, I actually, I buy a brand, um, no affiliation to me, but it's called Bravo Yogurt, which I make at home. And then I mix my resveratrol with that every morning. Fruit is okay. I drink a lot of hot drinks, so teas and coffee, um, not too much caffeine. Um, that's also good in, uh, you know, in terms of immunity, trying to keep hot drinks up so that um, pathogens get killed by the hot uh, drink. We, we coined a term called xenohormesis, and the xeno means from other species, and the hormesis means what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And what it means is that when plants that you're eating have been stressed, and I don't mean psychologically stressed, of course, I mean uh, picked after being dehydrated or too much sunshine or pathogen or, you know, a, a worm, I mean, a, a caterpillar is eating it. Those plants will produce molecules that activate our internal defenses against aging and disease. Whereas Veritrol is a good example of that. When you pick grapes that have been dehydrated before the harvest, they have the most resveratrol largely because the plants are trying to extend their longevity and survive. And we ingest it and we think that we get the benefits. So you try to eat plants that are, you know, not grown under perfect conditions, so organic. Um, and also you try to eat plants that have got a lot of color in them and because these molecules tend to have color.